Just mention all the empty office space downtown, and I can hear you talking back through the television. Why don't you turn it into housing? Because, of course, we need housing. And work from home has left offices abandoned. Flipping them into housing is not cheap or easy. But our Steve Staker found some commercial landlords who are looking at it. One look at Denver's skyline today. It's hard to believe the petroleum building near the 16th Street Mall and Broadway ever was a skyscraper, but it was. So the building was built in 1957, was the tallest building in Denver for about a week until the now shared and across the street was built. When the oil companies moved out, other businesses moved offices in until the wallopin we saw the last few years. And so it was already a little vacant, and then when COVID hit, you know, tenants went out of business and, and our vacancy rate just plummeted. John Borst is part of the ownership group of that building, which just submitted plans to the city to convert the old office building into a full or partial apartment building really with up to 150 way. units. So our building is actually really conducive to, to an apartment footprint. Adaptive reuse is a tool that downtowns have been using for decades to revitalize vacant office structures. Courtney Garrett is the CEO of the Downtown Denver Partnership and a proponent of adaptive use, turning existing buildings into something else, like an office into an apartment. A quarter of the commercial office space downtown is vacant post-pandemic. Garrett says at least some of it could help meet demand the city is seeing now. Demand for living, demand for entertainment, hotel, the visitor traffic. I think COVID has actually opened up an opportunity for us to take some of these structures that were perhaps struggling before and give them new life. It is an easy or cheap to do these kinds of conversions, but it's better for the environment and the city is willing to incentivize it. Right now, only 10% of downtown is residential. The city's planning department would rather that be closer to 30 or 40%. We think that there's a great opportunity in downtown to become another vibrant neighborhood of Denver that includes office. Arguments against adaptive reuse have been it's often cheaper to just tear a building down and build it up from scratch. But inflation and supply chain challenges are making it harder to buy construction materials, thus making this a much better option. Plus, the average new construction materials admit of about 23% of carbon to the atmosphere. So you've got that environmental concern with new construction. Yeah. But also, you could build some pretty cool spaces with what already exists. It just used to cost a lot. Now it's getting a little bit cheaper and it might make it a little bit easier to do this. That said, they're building new office space. We were just talking like last week about how they're building the largest office only building in decades downtown. I know our director Lawrence was really upset when we were talking about uh, the vacancy rate downtown and didn't mention that. The difference is that's class A office space. So you think a lot of businesses are starting to kind of restructure how they're doing things. And they're thinking, I need less of a footprint. I'm going to get a nice, fancy office, you know, the, the glass yeah, yeah. that might attract people to come downtown. The Class B kind of slides to the back, so a lot of the Class B office owners, you know, mid-century modern offices like okay. that, they're kind of thinking maybe we need to do something else with this space until there's a demand for this type of office space again. Very, very interesting. Also glad we both got the windowpane memo today, Steve. <laughs> thank you.